I remember my favorite thing about being younger was my passion for art and music and I just loved to make crafts. I loved to spend my time learning how to paint and photography. I had a grandfather that just totally invested in me in that area. It wasn't until my grandfather passed away that I just really had to grasp onto the concept of eternal life and what that meant in Jesus. And I remember just crying out that day and just saying, Lord, you created me with these passions and these talents for art and music, so I trust that you have a purpose for it. And the purpose is beyond me just creating and painting. I believe that. Every day, from that point on, I started to ask, Lord, use my life and use these gifts that you've given me um, to reach people and show me how to specifically do this. Exactly a year later, I got an answer to that prayer in a dream that I had one night. I just had this dream of this big open space full of people and young people from all paths of life and the light of Jesus was just shining in that place while they were creating and I just knew at that moment that I had a direction to go towards. When I graduated from high school, I took my first missions trip to Mexico along with my church. They were advertising a soccer clinic down to Mexico and I, I mean artist, sports are not my favorite thing, but I thought, oh, I'll go. I was standing in a group of 75 youth. We were taking a photo and everything got silent for a moment and I heard God say, I am preparing you for life in Mexico. I got so excited, I thought, I need to obey this. <laughs> and so I called up my dad. I'm like, Dad, I'm not coming home to finish college. I found my purpose in life. And he was like, no, you're coming home. I went home and I finished um, college. And it was another three years finishing at the University of Washington studying art. When I finished and graduated, a month later, I had my bags packed, brought two suitcases, and moved to Mexico to work and serve an orphanage in the Tijuana area. Ten years ago, we opened up Studio Del Creador. So we provide free art and music classes to the community, all ages. Our idea is to build a relationship and a friendship with people in a non-intimidating way. There's very few types of ministries down in Mexico to reach people, and most, it's usually church, rehab centers, or orphanages. So I feel like Studio Del Credor kind of is out of the box being able to reach new kind of people. We're empowering people to share their gifts and their passions and talents with others in the community and we're watching the Lord completely transform lives. We believe in teaching not only craft but also teaching how to do business and how to market and how to be able to get somewhere in life with the talents that they have. Man, we're just so grateful for every person that has dreamed along with us and wouldn't it be possible for us to be where we're at and to see the Lord work if it weren't for this huge community of people who just um, are behind us and alongside us in this vision.